So with the massive growth and popularity of network automation, we now have a lot of tools available to us that otherwise just were not there. This is obviously a great thing for us, it gives us much more options, but it also adds in a little bit of confusion. If you don't know exactly where to look, you can quite easily find yourself lost in the maze. So to help simplify this, what I thought I would do would be to highlight five of the very best Python libraries available today. So let's do it. So the first Python library that you should install is something called NetMiko. Now NetMiko is effectively an abstraction layer built over the Paramiko Python implementation of the SSH protocol. So whilst there's a lot of buzz and excitement around the NetConf protocol and the RESTConf protocol, the reality is there's still quite a lot of networking devices that only support basic SSH connectivity. So as opposed to trying to automate these devices using regular Paramiko, NetMiko on the other hand has been designed to have a type of intelligence about networking devices. NetMiko actually understands that for you to send a configuration change to a Cisco device, you actually need to be in global configuration mode. And in the other case, if you're just sending a basic show command, you will send that command from privilege exec mode. These are really, really helpful tools in simplifying your scripts when you're automating your networks. And one of my favourite features about NetMiko is that it's been nicely designed to tightly integrate with parsing solutions such as TextFSM and Genie. That way if you send a show command and just add an additional parameter to say use Genie, then effectively the output of that show command will be returned to you in the form of structured data. This is so, so useful. Now the second Python library that you should install is something called Napalm. Now Napalm is an amazing tool, effectively it provides an even higher level of abstraction than what NetMiko does. So ultimately the net effect, the main goal of Napalm is to provide you a unified API to interact with a multitude of different networking devices independent of their platform. Effectively, whether you're automating a Cisco device, a Juniper device or an Arista device, you can really kind of interact with them the very same way. So what exactly do I mean when I say that? Well, let's take, for example, Napalm's getter feature. So when you use a Napalm getter, you don't need to worry about device-specific CLI syntax. In effect, if you want to gather BGP information, you just issue the getter get BGP neighbors, for example, and Napalm under the hood will issue the relevant show commands to the relevant platform in effect streamlining and simplifying your automation. So the third Python library that you should install is something called Genie. Now Genie has been specially designed for automated network testing and in my opinion there is no better place to start if you're just beginning. Now the reason for this is twofold. The first being is that because Genie is centered around testing you don't need to worry about configuration changes. This is a big mistake that some newcomers sometimes make and that is that they get a little bit too excited about the possibilities of automation and they start just pushing out all these configuration changes to a whole bunch of devices. What ends up happening therefore is that they inadvertently melt down the network and this is not what you want to be doing. And with Genie you don't have to worry about this problem because it is effectively a read-only automation solution. Now the second reason is because Genie is very very simple to actually use. In fact in my opinion it's probably the easiest automation solution to begin using. You can use the Genie CLI functionality to instruct Genie about what you want it to learn about the state of your network. So let's say for example you were running OSPF within your network, you would just type the command Genie learn OSPF followed by the testbed file and then automatically Genie's going to go out and learn everything about the state of your OSPF network. Pretty cool. But it actually gets better. Now let's imagine that suddenly your network goes south and everything starts breaking, connectivity is lost, and you don't know exactly what's went wrong. Well, you could just issue the command, Genie learn OSPF yet again, and then Genie's going to relearn the entire state of the network. After that, we can now perform an automated comparison and then identify the problems easily. And it doesn't just stop with OSPF. You can have Genie learn BGP, EIGRP, access control list, or interface information. Anything you can think of, Genie can pretty much learn it and it's going to cut down and really simplify and streamline your troubleshooting process greatly. Now the fourth Python library that you should install is something called NC Client. Now the way network automation is going is we are trending towards a future of using APIs rather than the CLI. So we're going to be using protocols such as NetConf and RESTConf. Now if you're going to interact with the NetConf protocol, 
you're really going to be wanting to use NC Client. So if you have some experience using NetConf, then you might be aware that it's not exactly the easiest protocol to use. The XML based protocol is a little bit confusing, especially for newcomers, and you're going to need everything you can to make it that much simpler. This is where NC Client comes in with its manager functionality. Now, NC Client exposes an API for remote procedure calls, RPCs, as method calls and really makes the whole process much, much easier to use. NC Client also supports the ability for subtree filtering as well as the extremely powerful XPath filtering. In essence, if you're going to be automating over NetConf, there's a high chance you're going to be using NC Client. Now, the fifth Python library that you should install is something called the Request Library. Now, if you're going to be automating over the RESTConf protocol, the newer, lightweight, more simpler cousin of NetConf, then there's no doubt in my mind that you're going to be wanting to use the request library. So what makes this library so useful is that it hides away and abstracts a lot of the details behind making an HTTP request behind a simple API, which gives you built-in methods for delete requests, put requests, get requests, all that good stuff. And it really just simplifies and streamlines the whole process. Really, really useful and really, really simple. So there you have it. Those are my five top Python libraries for network automation today. Now what I will say is that this list is certainly not comprehensive. In fact, there are many Python projects out there today and on the horizon that are really quite exciting and certainly deserve your attention. Now central to my criteria when choosing this list was selecting libraries that were sufficiently mature, well tested and known within the community to perform the task they set out to achieve and all five libraries certainly do that. So if you found this video useful, helpful or interesting, then hit that like button, subscribe and let us know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you soon.